Hi, my name is Armando Cole, celebrity makeup artist, and I'm with my beautiful model, Vanessa. And today we are going to be doing two looks, a glam and dramatic look on this side, and a natural and everyday look on this side. We are using the same set of She Glam products on both sides. Let's get started. We're first going to be starting on the glam side of the face, and we are going to start off with brows. I am using the Brow Fection Angled Brush and Dip. I like to start from the end of the brow so that as we get towards the front, it's using the least amount of product. For eyeshadow today, we are going to be going in with the Rick and Morty X She Glam, the Meaninglessness of Life palette. We are going in with the Topi shade Cromulon, and this is just a beautiful shade to add structure to the lid and kind of create our desired shape. So I am mainly focusing this in the center of the crease and then going outwards towards the temple of the eye. So next I'm gonna be taking the shade Citadel and I'm going to be adding this to the outer third of the eye. Now for the lid, we are going to be going in with this beautiful green shimmer shade, Two Crows. And look at how beautiful the shade is. I'm also going to be going in with the same shade on a small little pencil brush and I am going to add that into the inner corner as well. And now just with the same brush that we used to add Citadel, the darker shade, I'm going to just diffuse that into the shimmer. So next we are going to be going in with a wing and I'm using the Pro Flex Angled Eyeliner. I always like to start with the wing first and then lead it into the rest of the eye. As we get towards the inner part of the eye, I like for the line to become really thin and kind of just disappear into the base of the lashes. And to just add extra smoke to the look, I'm going back in with the Citadel shade on an angled brush and I'm just going to be diffusing the base of this eyeliner wing. To prep the skin, I am going in with the Triple Threat Correcting Primer. With this primer, I like to first focus it towards the center of the face around the cheek area. And then I'm just also diffusing this throughout the rest of the face. So for foundation, I am going to be going in with the Skin Magnet High Coverage Foundation Stick. This stick is just a beautiful, flexible formula. And then I personally like the least amount of product to be on the forehead because I feel like the forehead always reads how much product you have on your skin. And I'm going to be using the She Glam Foundation Brush and I'm just focusing this foundation towards the center of the face and then blending it out towards the jaw and the neck. So now to create some dimension, I'm going in with the same Skin Magnet foundation stick, but I'm going in with the shade Chestnut to bronze and just add a little bit more structure to the skin. It's honestly foolproof. If you are a little bit scared about cream bronzing on yourself, just getting a darker shade in this foundation stick is a great way to start. So kind of applying it anywhere where the sun would hit. Naturally, the perimeter of your face tends to be a little bit more bronzy and a little bit more tan. Next, I'm going in with the Fine Line 2-in-1 Contour and Highlighter Pen. And I'm just going to add this anywhere. I just want a little bit more of a shadowy, structured appearance. I'm just gonna add a little bit under her chin and a few dots on her forehead. With a lighter shade, I'm going to be using this on the nose. And you see how that just narrowed out the side of her nose. For the contour, I'm taking a more angled but still synthetic and fluffy brush in the shape where I applied it while just diffusing the edges. So next for blush, I'm going in with the Color Bloom Liquid Blush in the shade Hot Topic. And I'm applying this upwards on the cheekbone. This is one of my favorite blush formulas because it just blends out like a dream. We're just gonna add a little bit more. Don't be shy. And you see, as I blend the blush up, I am diffusing this towards the temples. Next, we're going back into concealer. This is the Bright Eyes Cooling Concealer. And I'm going in with a flat brush. And mainly, I want to apply this concealer where the most of her discoloration is, which tends to be like the inner part of your eye. So I'm mainly starting with this and then just adding a little bit on the edge too to further snatch the face. And I'm just using a concealer brush to blend this out, once again using stamping motions. So now that we are done with the cream and liquid products, I'm going in with the Hydra Touch setting powder to just powder any areas that need a little bit more setting. So now I'm going in with the Lunar Glow Highlighter in this beautiful shade Heart Galaxy. And we're going to be using this kind of as a blush lighter and just applying that at the top of the cheekbone. So now with a pencil brush, I'm going to be taking the highlighter in the shade Tea Cake. I like to kind of do like a little exclamation point. I'm also gonna take the same shade. For a little bit extra dimension, I'm adding this to the inner corner of the eye and also to the brow bone. So now for some drop shadow, I'm going to be going in with the same palette with the shade The Citadel, and I'm going to be focusing that super tightly 
on the end of the eye. So now with that inner part of the eye where we left blank, I'm going in with the shade Cromulon, this taupey shade, and I'm just finishing off the drop shadow. So now I'm going in with the Flutter Wink Volumizing Mascara. And you really wanna get your mascara towards the root of the lashes. I feel like that's what really makes your lashes look super thick and adds the most volume. So now I'm going to be going in with the Girl Next Door Lashes in the style Jessa. So because these lashes are more on the natural side, I'm going to be cutting the outer third. So I'm going to be applying this lash on the outer corner. And you see how that just added a little bit more volume towards the end of the eye and gave a beautiful lift. So now we're going to go into the lips and first to just contour the lips, I'm going to be going back in with the contouring and highlighting pen. And I'm mainly focusing this towards the center of the lips, anywhere where we would want to add more volume. So now just with an angled brush, I'm taking that contour and blending it out towards the corners of the lips. So now I'm taking the Glam 101 Sheer Tinted Lipstick and Lip Liner Duo. I am essentially adding more shape to the lips with this lip liner, going right over where we put the lip contour. So now to lock in the glam side of the face, I am using the Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I really love the mist of this spray because it comes out very gently. And this is the glam side of the face all done, looking flawless, snatched, and perfect for any special occasion. So now we are moving on to the natural makeup side of the face. This is going to be your everyday makeup look. So we're gonna start off with the brows again. When I brush the brows out, I like to brush the front upwards. And then as I'm brushing, the sides, I like to kind of brush it more to the side to kind of create like a frame. So now I'm going to go back into the brow fection angled brush and dip. And for this side of the face, I'm going to do a more fluffy natural brow. And as I apply this, I'm trying to stay a little bit more within the lines of the brow. Next, to conceal the eyelids and base them for eyeshadow, I'm going back into the bright eye cooling concealer. So I'm not carving the brow, I'm just kind of concealing the veins and discoloration on the eyelid. And to diffuse any lines, you can just tap them out with your fingertips. To set the eyelids, I'm going in with the Hydro Touch Refreshing Powder. And once again, I'm just dusting this powder. This way it also sets that brow product that we put down. So now for the eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Rick and Morty X She Glam The Meaninglessness of Life palette. And I'm going back in with the shade Cromulon. I'm just putting a light wash of this shade throughout the crease, just to create some dimension. Next, I'm going in with the shade, the Citadel, and I'm going to be using this as like a really nice brown shadowy eyeliner. And I'm not gonna bring this fully in, I'm just creating a little soft wing with it. To finish off this eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Lunar Glow Highlighter in the shade Tea Cake and pressing that right in the inner corner. This is just a super soft way to elevate your look, super quick and easy. So this is the eyeshadow look all done, super quick and easy, just a few simple steps and a few shades. So now I'm going to move on to skin and I'm going to be using the Triple Threat Correcting Primer. And priming, you could do the same way on both sides. You're just applying it, mainly starting in the center of the face and diffusing it outwards. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Skin Magnet High Coverage Foundation Stick, and I'm going to start off by spot concealing with it. This is a great way to disguise anything that you need to while still having super fresh, natural skin. So next, we're gonna do a little bit of cream bronzing back with the High Coverage Skin Magnet Foundation Stick, just adding a little bit of warmth wherever you would like. I'm applying a little bit across the jaw just on the tip of the nose. So flawless and so easy. So now I'm going to be going in with the nose contour and highlight pen. And I'm diffusing that with a synthetic eyeshadow brush. And this formula blends out like a dream, so it is not intimidating at all. I'm now going in with the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush in the shade Cutie Pie. And this liquid blush formula is just so beautiful. You're even able to use this on bare skin and get a beautiful effect. So next, I'm going to go back into the Bright Eyes Cooling Concealer. So I'm mainly focusing that on the hollow of the eye, right towards the furthest inner part of the eye. 
I'm also taking this and just correcting any other areas that I need to around the mouth, on the chin, and putting some in the center of the forehead just for some brightness. So next, to set the under eyes, I'm going in with the Hydro Touch Refreshing Setting Powder. And this powder is seriously such a beautiful and velvety formula. It sets with ease and allows your skin to still breathe through it, which is perfect for an everyday makeup look. So next we are going to be going in with the Flutter Wink Volumizing Mascara. For these, I'm just going to mainly focus the mascara on the tip of the lashes to focus on length and just like creating a very fluttery appearance. So next for highlight, I'm going to be going in with the Lunar Glow Highlighter in the shade Heart Galaxy. So this is mainly just to add a little bit of glow, but I don't want it as beaming as it was on the other side. So to finish off the lip, I'm going in with the Glam 101 Sheer Tinted Lipstick and Lip Liner Duo. I just want to create a very natural lip shape. And I'm taking this lip liner and applying it throughout the entirety of the lips. So next I'm taking the lipstick side of the lip liner and lipstick Sheer Tinted Duo and applying this on the center of the lips towards the lip liner. Now I'm going in with the Matte Fresh Setting Spray to just lock in the makeup and make sure it stays all day. So these are the two final looks. We have the glam side, and then this side is your natural everyday face. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know which is your favorite side in the comments. Are you a more everyday natural makeup person or are you a more glam dramatic makeup person? Please subscribe to She Glam on YouTube for more videos like this and a lot of amazing makeup content. And please follow me on Instagram as well at Cole underscore MUA.